next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Walkerweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds. Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 160 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong, Mr. Untouchable. Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight, they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. He missed with that jab attempt there. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Good stick. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. That jab is fast. 
Let's look at that jab. Straight right hand, no good. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Circling to his right. Both fighters throwing heat now. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Let's go. Keep pushing forward. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Straight right, he misses. Single collar nice. tie here. And there comes the separation now. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. with 90 seconds to go in round one. Nice straight punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chopping the wood with those leg kicks. advantage you might as well use it nice job there to find a home for that chip and now he lands a combination Seconds to go. Big kick lane. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage. And he put it to good use there. Punches him. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. with the left there. Great punch. Game of inches right Tell there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. 
All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Out of range with that one. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knock. Oh, he lands the flying knee. That's a big frame to navigate in the octagon. No issues finding the target there. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, there's an effective counter with a straight punch. And again, he's got the reach advantage that has certainly helped him manage distance here tonight. Nice strike. Nice. <laughs> Caught that. Now there's danger in that too because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high kick. And then you're in a lot of trouble. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Caught that kick there. Right punches there. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Hands higher, hands higher. We're switching stances here. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Throwing that jab, no good. Straight punch lands. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Big kick lands. DC, I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, that is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up with it. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your toughness. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Nice leg kick. Single collar tie there. Able to check the high kick. Ooh, he landed a huge hook there. Just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result.
Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice punch land through the top. Oh, and that kick is blocked. And that left hook landed on the button. Oh, beautifully timed with the Superman punch. range with that left hook. Circling tools oh, was had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he lands. Great job. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground pounds. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Watch knees to the body. Beautiful punch. Oh, big head kick. Nice kick. Straight right hand now, just misses. And he landed the right hand there. Just out of range with the big right hand. I want that takedown now. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Very tricky when he throws that body. Oh, what a punch. Oh. oh, big diving punch to the head. He got him bad. And he's back to his feet. Good sign for him there. Beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Score that takedown for me, man. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Oh! He's out! He got him! What a fight! I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. Well, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. 
And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 18 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Mr. Untouchable. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. Court. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was